you've heard, um, and I co-founded Prizio. Prizio is a very simple concept. Just imagine a celebrity like Samuel L. Jackson reaching out to his followers on social media, to his fans, and asking them, guys, please, donate $3 to a charity, and you will get a chance to win a lunch with me, an all expenses paid trip to London, to beautiful five-star hotel. And the fans go to our site, to Prizio, and they donate. And in a few days, we are able to raise $150,000. And this is the reality. We have actually a campaign running with Samuel Jackson, and he asked his fans, and we were able to raise more than $150,000 in just a few days. It's a great thing for charity. It is much better than any other method that is out there for fundraising. It's much better than charitable auctions, which is the current status. And the charities are able to get a lot of great PR that is utilizing their celebrity ambassadors in a much better way than anything out there. It is win for the celebrity as well. It's a great PR for them because they are seen out there in the media, in the press, associated with a great cause. Recently, we started incorporating also brands. So just imagine big brands that are out there. They are willing to support the great causes with a lot of money by matching donations or providing services for free because they get a lot of great exposure. They are associated with a celebrity, so it's a celebrity endorsement. It's a cause-based marketing, so they are seen um, supporting the cause, and it is great corporate responsibility. It's great for people, because people are able to connect and engage with their celebrity like they weren't able before. They are able to interact in a meaningful way, and they are able to, to imagine how would it be if they won. I co-founded Prizer with my friends at the end of 2011. We started doing a completely different thing. We weren't co called Prizer back then. What we were trying to do, we were trying to organize this big, glamorous charitable events where rich people came to a huge room, a huge venue, and we were auctioning off these unique prizes that no one could buy, um, only these rich people. But quickly we realized that there is only a limit of how many people we can put in a room. And um, it, we had a huge event in London, in Natural History Museum, but we were able to put only 2000, uh, 200 people um, in, in, this, in this venue. And another problem was that there is only a limit of how much these people are willing to pay. There is this mental limit in where the, these rich people are willing to pay only like $30,000 or $50,000 uh, for the cause, no matter what the price is. So we decided to address these inefficiencies, and um, we started first with online auctions. Of course, online auctions were solving only one problem, uh, which is the size of the venue. But um, we quickly realized that there is still this limit of how much they are willing to spend. And so we turned the model, and we started to do a lottery with it. And that's how the idea behind Prizio came. And we started to work on it full time um, in mid 2012. And we applied to Y Combinator. You might know that Y Combinator is a, is a program very similar to Startup Yard, where teams, uh, small growth companies are getting uh, a lot of support uh, from Y Combinator. Uh, they get a lot of recognition. And, Y Combinator acceptance rate is below 2%, so the brain Y Combinator actually opens a lot of doors in Silicon Valley. Uh, people that were very skeptical about our concept before we got to Y Combinator suddenly changed their opinion and they were willing to speak to us. It totally blew my mind how much door just the brand opened. Another thing or another advantage of Y Combinator was the money, of course. It wasn't the main thing, but the Y Combinator gave 20,000 in cash 
and 80,000 in a convertible note. It was enough money for us to stay operational for three months and uh, start growing uh, as we needed, pay for the services that we uh, wanted, and uh, it led us to grow um, in the pace that we were comfortable in. Another important thing that we got from Y Combinator was mentoring. A lot of business celebrities like Pat and Thiel were helping us with the business strategy. There were many people, many accomplished individuals who are partners in Y Combinator who were helping us to create a product that we really like and that people love. And mentoring was definitely one of the most important things we got from Y Combinator. The last but not least was network. Immediately after the acceptance, we got access to 500 YC companies that are willing to help without any, uh, any cost. So they are very open about it. As soon as you are in YC, you can just contact any other YC company and ask for help and they will help you. And it works the other way. We are already helping the, the, the new badges or old badges whenever sometimes contact us. This is one very important thing that really got a lot of deals to us and uh, we got a lot of support from other companies. Since I started working on the project, I realized several interesting and important things. And the first one is that if you have an idea, just start now. It doesn't really matter what the idea is because the space of ideas is really interconnected. So, you just need to start working on whatever you think is good and then learn from it, understand what went wrong and maybe start over, maybe reuse half of the code base or just start from scratch. You can see examples of this in a, in a world around you. There are big corporations like Microsoft, for example, that started selling an interpreter of a programming language for a platform uh, that, that was used by maybe thousands of hobbyists. Then they expanded to multiple platforms. They started to work on an operating system for another platform. They then started to work on applications for this operating system. And then they expanded to entertainment. They infiltrated the living rooms with Xbox and computer games and many, many other things. And now they're a multi-billion dollar company. As I said, when we started in Prizio, we were doing a completely different thing. We were doing charitable auctions that are not scalable at all. But we started and we iterated and we improved. And the Prizio that you can see now has a lot of sweat in it because that is this is basically another important thing that I want to talk about, is that you must not be afraid of working. There is a lot of manual work about, behind any idea where you need to start putting a lot of manual work that cannot be automated. Um, in Prizio, for example, we, before we started working on, on the big scalable platform for raffles, we actually did one very non-scalable raffle for a very posh event in London where we were running around with iPads and persuading, and in my case even coercing with my Russian accent, uh, where we were trying to sell the raffle tickets directly to people. And this was a lot of work. We were a complete job shop. We organized completely everything uh, regarding the technical side. We were even you know, there when they were introducing the winners and we were sending out emails if something went wrong. But this totally helped us. We got the credibility for our second project and we were able to, to tell, see, we were actually organizing another raffle before. It went well. We managed to raise more than 30,000 pounds in an in a evening and it was very, very important for our success. When we came to Y Combinator, they told us, if you are unsure whether you should be doing what you are doing, just ask yourself, am I creating stuff? Am I talking to customers? Or am I exercising? If the answer is no, then you shouldn't be doing it. And if you think about it, it's very important. You need to focus and you need to start working or hacking or whatever you call it. You need to start working and uh, avoid any distractions that are on the way. Of course, in my combinator, we were doing all these things, as you can imagine. 
One important thing that you might have heard also before is continually improving the product. It is always important that you um, learn from all the mistakes that you make and all the successes that you make. You must not forget that even if the change that you made was successful, it might not mean that it's the most optimal way how to do it or the most efficient way. In Prizio, we started with a very limited set of features and we are continually adding new ones. Sometimes they don't work at all, sometimes they even destroy our conversion so we have to turn it off immediately. But sometimes we tap to very interesting uh, things that we didn't consider before just by accident, just by creating a completely different feature. For example, just out of fun, we replace our comments on the site with a feature to, to leave a message to celebrity. And people were able to suddenly, meaningfully connect to their celebrity, to their idol, and to say, I really support what you do, I really love your work. And suddenly the engagement on the site went rocket up, Everyone loved it, and it was just like a random thing that we really didn't expect. We just wanted to test out different methods of making comments and discussions on the side. So, if you are thinking about starting your project, I can imagine that a lot of people here have their own project. But if you are thinking about starting your project, start now. Don't wait until you find the right idea because there will never be time and on the way you might learn so many things that you didn't know or that you don't know right now so the end product will be just much better and the odds of succession, uh, succeeding will be just much higher. Don't be afraid to work. If something cannot be automated for now, doesn't matter. If you can't do customer support like big companies, doesn't matter. You are able to do customer support as well. Avoid distractions and work. Focus on the product. Focus on your customers and everything will be fine. Because if you realize, if you are focused, you will see what you are doing wrong and you will be able to iterate and improve it immediately. And the last but not least, Keep pumping out new features, create stuff all the time and see what works and what doesn't. And you will get to succeeding. Thank you very much.